Hello, my name is Shayna, and today I will walk you through how to create a schedule for your semester. This is something that will come in handy to help you reduce stress and sort tasks in order of priority more efficiently. You can use whatever technology you wish to do this, such as a calendar on your phone, a software such as Asana, a scheduling app, etc. You can find the links here. Let's get started. Step one is to create the skeleton for your semester. This will include all your classes, DGDs, and labs for the semester. In this example, the calendar has been made using Excel, however, there are many different programs you could use to do this. For the sake of this video, I will be using the schedule here as an example. And now we have the skeleton for what the semester will look like from week to week. Next, take time to read the syllabus thoroughly. Add the deadlines for activities, assignments, and exams. For this video, I have included all the exams and deadlines for this specific biochemistry course. This is an example of what you should do for each class. Make sure you've written down all the deadlines for all your courses this semester. Now, map out when the assignments and midterms are due on your calendar. For this video, I will only be showing the activities to be added for these two weeks. This is an example of what any given week might look like so that you can plan out your whole semester this way. Decide what time during the week is best for you to work on each of your courses. Block it off in your calendar now for the entire semester, then do this for the rest of your classes. In this example, I have put four hours of study time aside per class per week. Decide how much time you will need to work on all of the assignments you will have due throughout the year. Fit in the amount of time needed for each assignment and midterm in the slots left. The recommended amount of time is the following. One to two hours for pre and post lab quizzes, 8 hours for lab reports, 10 hours of study time for a midterm, and 25 hours to write an essay. The best way to do this would be to look at the deadlines for the following week. For example, to find out what to work on this week, take a look at what will be due the following week. That way you can organize your schedule properly. In this example, the following week has three midterms coming up, one pre-lab quiz, and one post-lab quiz. This means that for this week, all the extra study time needs to be put into studying and finishing the quizzes. Finally, enter in the time required for personal time, sleep, exercise, employment, downtime, eating, and other commitments. Note that this schedule I have made here only shows from 8.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. That means that 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. can be used as downtime, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. as time to sleep, and finally, 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. as time to wake up and get ready for the day. Congratulations! You have now made a schedule for your semester. Remember that this is just a tentative schedule. Yours might look a little different, and you might choose to prioritize things differently, but as long as you have your semester mapped out, you're ready to go. This will allow you to stay on top of the work that needs to be done and avoid having deadlines creep up on you. Stick to this calendar as best you can, and you may observe a significant drop in your stress levels. Good luck in your semester.